Watching the stars and the city lights Right from the start said we never grow apart yet. Good morning my loves I'm just finishing getting dressed here It's Tuesday and I'm gonna be working from home today I do have a couple of errands to go run and also like one quick in-person meeting as well So I'm currently getting ready to go do that. What else do I need to do? Okay, I need to put on some perfume this dossier Ambry Saffon is just one of my favorites. It smells just like the one that it was inspired by. I get so many compliments on this and everyone thinking it is the other one, which just like blows my mind because it's obviously like a fraction of the price. And then this is the outfit that I'm deciding to go with today. So I have on this really comfy beige sweater. It is so, so, so soft. Like, is it not just like the perfect shape? And I love the wide sleeves on it as well and then these are my jeans they're from a goldie they're one of my favorite pairs and then i have my purse right there but then we just need to top it off with some jewelry i definitely want to wear a couple of rings these two have been just like my go-to's for over a year i love them let me move to better lighting actually oh much better so here are the two rings that i just love to wear on a daily basis i legit brought my whole jewelry box over here okay and then for earrings i am gonna wear these gold drop earrings they're absolutely stunning. They are actually from PD Paola, the same brand as the rings. And they are just one of my favorite jewelry brands. They're based out of Spain and they just make some of the best jewelry. And what I love is that they always come out with new collections. These earrings are part of their Icon collection that just dropped. The Icon collection also has like some really cool pendants. Here are a few other pendants that I got. And I really want to wear these today and incorporate them into my outfit. So what I'm going to do is actually put a couple of them onto this snake necklace so that I can add a little extra something onto this chain. But what's so cool about this collection is that the pendants actually come in a few options. So we have the ones that I just shared with you, these white zirconia ones that come in a long and also a short option. But then they also have gemstones. I got one in this color, but there's also a few other color options. And then they also just have like solid like gold or silver silver looking ones as well if you didn't want it to be like too flashy. And the collection is designed to be like stacked or layered. So you can put as many as you want onto a necklace or you can even stack it onto these earrings. And just with a few pieces, you kind of end up creating endless looks and endless possibilities. Let me show you. The earring opens in the back so you can either put the pendant on the front or you can put it on the back, but I'm just gonna put it like this. So then it looks like this on, just like an extra little touch. I love just like stacking the two together. I just need to get another one of these white zirconia ones, and then I can put it over on this ear as well. And then what I've been alluding to is with these ones, I'm gonna put onto this chain necklace. So then you have it just like this. They're just like a pair together. You can also just end up adding more jewelry to to just layer even more. I love wearing this chain. There you go, something like that. You can add even more necklaces on, or you can have just like a very minimalist look. Let me show you that. So you can put both of the white zirconias together. I love that look. Or if you wanted like even a more simplistic look, you can just like have a single one. I have the long one, but then you can also like swap it for the short one too. I kind of want to put both on because that's really fun. I also want to put on these other white zirconia earrings that I have and put them in my second hole. That way they match the necklace. I think it would be nice to pull it together. There! Isn't that so pretty? And because this is like kind of a statement, it's kind of like a lot going on on my ears, I ended up taking off the second necklace just to help like balance things out a little bit, but I'm kind of like obsessed with this. It's like the the perfect addition for this outfit. Oh, these are so much fun. I just really wanted to share them with you guys. I'm also really excited that PD Paola is having a Black Friday, which begins on Wednesday, November 22nd, where you can get up to 40 percent off. It starts at 20% and then the more you buy, the more you can save. I am absolutely going to be taking advantage and picking up a few additional pieces to share a few things that are on my personal wish list. I really want to 
get a second one of like these short white zirconia pennants so that I can put it on the other earring to match. But then there's also like a few necklaces, like this tango chain. What I love about it is it has like kind of like this drop look, like tiered look on the front, but they also show a picture of like you wearing it down your back if you have like an open back dress or top. I just think that's absolutely stunning. And then this Marina chain necklace, something just so simple, dainty. It has like a little bit of a shine to it that I think would be really pretty to layer with. The stacker clasp chain necklace. I love that a clasp that you typically see on like a back of a necklace is kind of like hanging in the front. And I love that they paired some of these pennants on the clasp. I think that looks so good, but it also looks just as good just by itself as well. You guys, I'm so excited. And there's two like hoop earrings that I had my eye on. These Marina hoops, stunning. Kind of like this rock crinkle look to it, chunky, thick. Oh. And then one similar to that, but like less chunky, but it has like the white zirconia stones on it. It's the Duna single hoop. Woo! This one's stunning as well. I think better suited for like daily wear, but man, I'm excited for all of those items. And since I want to get more than four items, that means that I can get up to 40% off of my entire order, which is absolutely insane. You guys, I cannot wait. You got to mark your calendars. I'll share my wish list down in the description, but also links to all of like these pieces that I'm wearing right now. But with that, I am officially dressed. I just need to grab my purse and grab a jacket, put my shoes on and we are ready to head out. I'm back home and I have a little shadow at my feet. Gray. Gray. Hi, cutie. Ended up changing into some comfy clothes, but it's Gray's lunchtime right now. So let's feed her really fast. Are you hungry? Okay. Her meal is still kind of complicated and complex, but it's becoming simpler. She is still struggling to eat. Requires being hand fed sometimes in order to get her to eat more. But I keep telling myself today, today's the day that I'm gonna get Farmer's dog, like order it, like the at least the trial period to see if she likes that more. But like the more I look into it, I'm just like, do I want that one? Do I want Ollie? Do I want Nom Nom? There's so many other ones that are just like it. But also I heard that it's not the best to like go grain free, like having some grains in her diet is still really good according to my vet. And all of those except for Nom Nom have, are grain free. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But let's go ahead and feed her. Don't you dare peel poop somewhere while I'm doing this. False alarm, false alarm. Okay, she's been really loving putting just like pure organic pumpkin puree. The only ingredient is pumpkin in this. There's no sugar or nothing else. And it's been helping her to really like the food. And then she likes these, we call them chicken nuggets because the flavor is chicken and they are shaped as like a nugget, but they are, where are you? Oh, she's what? laying down. Freeze dried little toppers for the meal and she goes crazy for this. So I kind of just like crumple it on top. This is the key to get her to eat is this topper right here. And then I'll just like mix it in a little bit. And then because she's not consistent, we also weigh her food. Okay, 315 grams. Let's see what she does. But she gets fed three times a day. Yummy. Okay, she's done. It's 278. I think that is 38 grams. That's pretty good for her. Now I am on the lookout for peeing and pooping. I'll have to take her out here in a second. Probably like the next 10 minutes. <laughs> I need to have lunch for myself. Usually it comes second to her. <laughs> Do you need to go? Do you need to go potty? Do you need to go outside? Or not yet? Once we mix, once we mix the usage with yes. the, the icing information. Come here. Come here. Play over here. Play up so I can watch you, you know? Yes! Success! 
She even asked to go outside, you guys. Both pee and poop. So now it's officially my lunch time. Now I don't have to stress about <laughs> if she's gonna have an accident or not. So for lunch, I'm just gonna have some leftover soup. I made this soup over the weekend. It's like this potato soup. It's kind of like a spicy potato soup. It's not really spicy. Probably could have added something else to it to make it spicier. But nonetheless, it's delicious. I'll include the recipe below. If you want to see me watch it, I'll link that vlog for you guys. I'm going to heat this up. Put some flake salt on it. And then because I want to keep the bacon crispy, I didn't heat it up with it. The hot soup ends up like making it hot, like it tastes fine. <laughs> Green onion. Ta-da, almost like I just made it fresh. <laughs> zoomies like a week ago and it's so funny to see her just constantly run everywhere sometimes i run with her let's see <laughs> oh my god you're crazy you're crazy Water break. <sighs> Escaping up here for a bit so that I can get some work done. I've already got like a ton of stuff done, both for just like Amazon, then also for YouTube and YouTube content planning and stuff like that. I was working on my Lululemon gift guide video that I'm gonna be filming and it will go up right after this. I was starting to get just my list kind of finalized of everything that I would recommend for each of the categories that I'm building, but also just like my top 10 maybe favorite Lululemon items from the year. And then starting to like pull some of the pieces so that I can maybe film like the try on portion of the video tomorrow or Thursday. I'm trying to like figure out the timing of it all but then it's always two parts because I have to film like a try on part of things and then I need to like sit down and do like the talking part right. So it's kind of like an hour or two of planning and then polling and then an hour for trying on and filming that and then another hour dedicated to like doing the talking part because then you have to think about like the lighting and the setup and all of like that sort of stuff as well. So it's kind of um, an involved process. So that's what I was working on and I'm excited that it's coming along. So we need to work on finalizing that. My hair got really frizzy from being outside. Does it not? So I feel like I'm trying to like tuck it back. But anyways, what I wanted to do right now is along the same lines of like the Lululemon gift guide is I really wanted to do just gift guides in general. I did it last year and you guys loved it. So I absolutely want to do it again this year, but I need to carve out some time and start to build and create those lists. So that's what we're going to do right now, right now. 
I'm gonna put it on my shop my I'll have it like linked of course down in the description but the categories I was thinking about doing is like gifts under 50 gifts for her gifts for him gifts to splurge gifts for home maybe like holiday pajamas um, let's see like what else I might change or come up with but that's kind of like my starting points so I'm probably gonna put something on the TV just to like listen to and watch probably like a YouTube video or something while I just scour the web and start to build these lists. Oh, I'm so excited to do it. Maybe it'll double and it'll help me with coming up with like ideas of things that I want as well for Christmas. Tell me how it is for your family. Does folks in your family like create wish lists and like you send it out to your family members and like you just shop off of that? or no wish list and whatever you end up getting for Christmas is kind of like a surprise. I like I feel like some people are for wish lists and some people aren't. My family is definitely on along the lines of like a wish list. They want at least like a guide of things that you want or if it's on your mind that you want to get for Christmas, you know, versus not knowing at all. Because I think like for me, like the worst feeling is getting something for someone that they don't even want, that they already have, or that I'm just going to waste my money. So I prefer just to get someone something that they want. You know what I mean? Anyways. Okay, babes, I am so proud of this. I worked on this for so long just now, and I think I have a good list going. I'm, of course, still gonna work on this and add to it, but I wanted to share with you guys what I have so far and, like, the categories as well. So I'm definitely gonna do, like, the gifts under 50, gifts for her, gifts for him, gifts for splurging. I thought that would be a good one. And gifts for home. Always good for, like, relatives or siblings and stuff like that because you always need things for your house. But, of course, if you wanted to get, like, specific as well or if you're like on a budget too um i love the gifts under 50 there's so many good things that i added in here kind of like an array of like home things under 50 the belt bag from lululemon is always a good one some beauty products bar items is a good idea some socks always come in clutch so many items in the gifts for her section Lots of things that I own and love, of course, in every single section. I feel like a majority of the things that I placed in these categories I do own or they're things that I'm like really interested in getting for myself as well. So yeah, I really hope that you guys like this. I will have it in the description and I'll just continue to have it in the description in every single video for now until Christmas. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'll add it to my social media here shortly too and save it to like a story highlight or something like that for easy access. But but yes, okay, hopefully you guys love it. Babe, clean blanket. Gray, clean blanket. Can we not pee on it this time? Juan's fault. He was in a meeting and didn't let her out. No, go grab on it like that. Babe, I'm starving. Really? Yeah. Okay. Starving. Oh, cool. Yeah. Did you grab them out? Nice. Are they frozen? Yeah. Could we still make dinner now? Now? Yeah, babe, I'm hungry. What? What? We need uh... Because the daylight savings is actually 8.30, not 7.30. <laughs> so, you know, but I'm so hungry. But yesterday was like this. And the day before, neither? Well, the day before didn't matter. What? You want Saturn? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I have something pulling at my jacket and licking my feet. Ah, yummy. I got the Laneige, Laneige peppermint flavored oh, lip balm. Tastes great. I'm trying to find something to wipe my finger on though. After the gift guides, I pivot on over to editing a vlog. It was supposed to go up today, but life. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it up for tomorrow instead. But I still have quite a bit of footage to edit here. So I'm gonna try to multitask now, but I was working on this for like the past hour. <laughs> I'm spoiling my baby. She's going to be so spoiled. I like your boss, lady. You know that? Stop licking my face. <laughs> my makeup. You're licking my makeup, I don't know. That's good. 
I'm watching BravoCon, but it's their first year having like the Bravo Awards and I'm finding it hilarious. And then little Gray and I are having some girl time. She's laying on my lap right now, aren't she? Juan's preparing us dinner. Milanesa's, but feeding Oliver right now. This little cutie in my lap. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Babe, tomorrow she turns 11 weeks. Yeah. My baby. <laughs> You're growing up. It means we've had her for two weeks. Yeah. Wow. We're gonna have. Are we? Oh, uh, we're gonna have. Wow. Oh, yeah. Keep on fighting. Yeah. I mean, if we're being honest, it feels like a month. <laughs> Puppies are exhausting. Yeah. It feels like a long time. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's a full-time job. Yeah, definitely a full-time job. But I think that speaks volumes, the fact that it's only been a week and a half, and I feel like she's grown and developed so much already. I think so. Yeah. It's cute. It's good. I'll just start with two, or maybe I'll take this tiny one. And we just have Milanesas. We didn't come up with a side dish. Ketchup is not a side dish. It's a dipping sauce. Time to get ready for bed. I'm up here now. Take off my makeup, do my skincare and all that sort of stuff so that I can go downstairs and be with Gray and then Juan can come upstairs and he can get ready. He's still sleeping downstairs with Gray at this point in time and I'm just sleeping upstairs. But I want to get fully ready before him so that way when I come back upstairs, I can just go straight to bed, finish editing the video and try to get that uploaded. Hopefully cross my fingers because I haven't touched it since we last spoke, and then I really want to read as well. That's my mission, and that's what I plan on doing, but I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. I love you guys, I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for all of your love, all of your support, all of the time. I hope you all are doing so well, and I will see you in a couple days with the next video. Bye.